Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of 12 Inch Figure Fanatic. Today we're going to review this hopefully excellent figure by Hayu Toys. It's called Gladiator, and obviously it's based on the movie Gladiator, Russell Crowe's character, Marcus Aurelius. I'm going to open this up, we're going to check out what's inside, and then we're going to compare it to a custom that I've had for a while. Let's take a look. Okay, so first off, this is a massive box, as you can see. And I think it's because of the, the, the large base that comes with it. It's also a very heavy box. So it looks like the cover is the background to the figure. And they've done that quite a bit with uh, different companies now. Um, the, the backdrop itself looks a little faded and a little vague. Um, you got to look at it for a while to realize that it's the sort of the stage, uh, um, the seating area or the presentation area in the background for the royalty. But um, we'll see how that looks when it's complete. Oh, wow. So the figure's already assembled, which is impressive. They could have just had you attach everything yourself, which is what I thought would happen. It's a heavy figure, and that's because... The vest and it looks like the vest and the uh, leg guards are made of metal. So that adds quite a bit of weight to it. Now right off the bat, the head sculpt is reasonable, but it also leaves a little to be desired as far as the likeness of Russell Crowe. Uh, there's these... Uh, mesh mesh material underneath here that is is also adding a little bit of weight I imagine although it's pretty pretty light um, but great detailing on that and I mean just wow I'm, I'm, I'm just impressed so far oh so the um, shoulder guards are also made of metal looks like it's attached by a glue Oh, oh, thank God. They just snap on and off, it looks like. I thought I broke it already. That would have been embarrassing. Okay. So, one thing I gotta, I gotta criticize is, is the, the joints. Now, we have so many figures that are coming out with seamless bodies as a standard now. Even figures that are fully clothed, and it's like, well, they could have just saved money by doing a jointed figure like this because you don't expose those areas anyway. But in this case, it does take a little bit away from the figure because you can see those joints. It just makes it look a little bit cheap. So at the very least, I'll, I'll do a body switch um, with this figure. Yeah, like I said, I'm glad they attached all this ahead of time on our behalf. Um, because it's a pain in the butt to have to put these t kinds of things together. Like a lot of the military figures, there's just so many accessories and you've got to attach them all and buckle them all in and snaps and stuff. Nice tattered look to the bottom, the fray here. Um, it's weathered a bit as well. Just a great figure throughout. So let's take a look at what else it comes with. Yeah, man, that's just fantastic. So you've got this other alternative shoulder guard. This is also made of metal, and it snaps right in just like the other one that I showed you. Um, yet another one. This is just a single plank rather than the series of planks on the other ones. Oh, the iconic helmet in all its glory and beautifully weathered too, I'll add. This is made of metal too, so it adds weight. You can see why this box uh, was so heavy because this stuff is adding up quick. Beautifully weathered throughout. Very nice. 
One, two, three, four, five, and six hands. Tons of combinations to choose from. And not that there's a great paint job on, on these hands for the detailing, but the sculpt makes up for it. Very good sculpt there. Good texturing. Beautifully detailed there. Wow, that's just fantastic. Good weathering on it. Oh my gosh, this thing is gorgeous. Probably won't use it for the display, but gorgeous. And that is made of metal. Here's a sword. Also nicely weathered, so it's made of metal, once again, but they've gone the extra step of weathering it. I like how they dulled the blade, because, I mean, in reality, these, these slaves were handed dulled weapons and expected to survive, and um, yeah, that's very nicely done. His shield, which is plastic. And I imagine, so it's got, it's got this wood grain on the back. So I, I don't know from watching the film a few times whether the shield is supposed to be completely metal. I never, I never remember seeing the back of the shield in the film, but um, it is made of plastic. So that's kind of surprising given the theme of the rest of the stuff. I know Captain America's shield is made of metal, so. But it's nice, very nicely weathered. Once again, beautiful detailing throughout. No shortcuts here on the paint. Um, they, they must pay their folks well because they do a great job. And this monstrosity, which is the, the base that came with the figure. And it looks like it goes like this, yeah. So it doesn't secure at all. Um, I guess that's so that you can you can just have it displayed like this, or you can add this as a backdrop. Which, yeah, I mean that's a little intense for me. I'll probably just use this because I mean the scaling. Aside from the scaling, which is like this is like a miniature model behind the figure, um, it just it kind of looks kind of cheap because where's the stands, right? There's no, there's no tiers of stands. It's just kind of like these holes. This looks like more like a decoration that you would put in your fish tank for your, your, your fish to swim around and have fun with. So I probably won't use this. But, you know, they, put, they went the extra step of putting some padding on the bottom so whatever surface you have it displayed on, it's not gonna scratch. Same thing with this one here. So, but let's... Uh, Let's set the figure up now that I've looked at everything and uh, see how it looks. And we're going to do a side-by-side -side with the custom that I have, which I think is going to, you know, the, the custom is no comparison to this figure. I could tell already. All right, so here we have a side-by-side -side comparison. First of all, the figure looks great set up, even with that background. Um, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to keep the background, but it does look a little bit better once you have the figure set up with it. Um, so... Let's start off with the, the head sculpts here. As you can see with the side-by-side, -side, um, here's my custom. You can definitely tell it's Russell Crowe. If you come over here, I, it looks like maybe a overweight version, plus the eyes are too close. So by itself, it was passable. But once I put it next to the custom, um, 
I just, I have so many issues with that, that head sculpt. It's just not working for me. Even from different angles, it just looks a little off versus the custom. Now the custom has its shortcomings too, but I think they did a great job. And I switched out the shoulder guards just so it can match the, the, uh, the, the custom figure a little bit better. Uh, my custom has a plastic vest. Um, obviously this one's metal, so it's better. The detailing is also a little bit better. The weathering's a little bit better. Um, this, I, you know, granted he, he fought a few times in the film. Um, it seemed like he got upgrades, uh, as he progressed through the film because he was higher pro uh, profile fighter. Uh, so this was, I think an earlier, like the initial fight or one of the initial fights that he was in. Um, he doesn't have that mesh, um, underneath here. But you can tell the difference in the sword. Uh, it's this is a, although it has a metal uh, blade, it has a, a plastic handle, and it doesn't look as nice. It looks a little cheap. That one's obviously very nice. Um, if you look at the helmets side by side, big difference there. Not necessarily in the sculpt, the size obviously. Um, but the weathering on, on this one is just much better. It's got that oxidization, the dirtiness of it. Um, this one, not so much. It's very plain, very artificial looking. Uh, the shields also a slightly different. This shield is larger. This one's a little bit smaller. Um, yeah, I prefer the larger one. But the figure overall, th this custom is, is smaller. So let's Put it on an even plane, slightly smaller than the other one. So, yeah, Hayu Toys did a great job. Never heard of them before this figure, but um, I'll give this this figure. The shortcoming here is is like I said, the joints on the body. I'm gonna have to switch out the figure body entirely, and I'll probably end up swapping the heads and then selling the custom the uh, custom figure on ebay um but I'll, it would have had a 10 if it wasn't for them not using a seamless body so i'm knocking down a few points for that but otherwise it's great so i'm going to give this a 9.3 which is a higher score than i've given a figure in a, in a while just the, the, the attention to detail the quality throwing in the nicer base here um just outstanding job um overall thanks for watching see you next time